Seven years ago, Eric Kenoti was in the business of providing generous supplies to institutions. While going about his business, he was given an order to deliver one tent. That order changed his life. I saw an opportunity whereby most of the people, if they do not know where to get a, man, a tent which is manufactured. Most of the people are into hiring. Uh, I got an order which was difficult to get a tent to buy. And uh, I, I, I saw the need. There's a need and I, I had to create a solution. And that's when I decided to come up with Shed, Shed System South Africa Limited. From buying that one tent, Eric's business has grown to employ over 100 employees and is gradually expanding across the region. However, it hasn't been easy. He recalls one of his worst experiences while starting up, getting money from a disreputable money lender. It was bad. It was bad because uh, I used the, it's, I think it's the shortest route to acquire or to assess the in, uh, capital for to start up a company, but I will not. I will advise people not to go for that way. Look for people that are able to partner, and because uh, the idea itself is a capital. So look for people you're able to partner and implement the, the idea. From this experience, he reckons that access to finance and collateral are some of the key challenges that most young entrepreneurs encounter, which partly impedes their growth. As a young entrepreneur in Africa or in Kenya, whereby it's, it's very hard to assess capital. Why? As a young 30-year-old, uh, they'll ask you for a developed property. You don't expect a young person to have a developed property. This will come up with a policy whereby we, we are able to assess the, uh, the funds or loans without any uh, those like fixed assets. His planned expansion into other regions calls for increased capital injection. What option is Eric considering? You are looking uh, for equity, equity share or uh, debt capital, but mostly equity share whereby if you can get venture capitalists or uh, angel investors, we'll be very happy to expand beyond our borders. He further notes that the demand for his products has vastly grown and the decision to start it back in 2007 was an opportunity he quickly seized. The industry is growing uh, and the advantage of our industry or our sector, the climatic conditions of Africa, whereby we have, sometimes we have rain, sometimes we have sunlight. And as, as Shade Systems East Africa Limited, we offer shade solutions for products that need to be covered against sunlight and rain. So to us, the market is there and the, due to the population growth and uh, the fast growth of the economy in Africa, there's a lot of uh, opportunities to be able to invest on. And from his world of experience, what advice does Eric have for upcoming young entrepreneurs? My advice to the youth will be to focus on, not on, on uh, getting uh, employed, but what they have, the idea that they have is, is a capital. Most of the people complain about capital, capital, but an idea is enough to be a capital. Uh, they, they have to uh, think big, start small and start now. They should not wait for one million to save for one million to start that, that job. They, they should start now.